It's time for another unboxing. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SCF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my unboxing of Goroth and Zagdush Orc Captains. So, as you can see, in the new studio and um, they finally arrived as well. So, uh, so bear with us as we get our bearings in the new studio because not everything is done. Uh, soundproofing needs to be done and uh, audio equipment needs to be bought in but we are nearing. Uh, in a couple of weeks we will have everything ready uh, for, for everything. So. This will be lovely, but for now, unboxing of this very nice kit. We um, I got this in the mail uh, a couple of uh, of days ago, so uh, so we will now take a look at everything you can expect to find inside this box. So you can decide for yourself if it's a worth a purchase or not. So let's take a look at the contents inside now. So welcome back to this unboxing of uh, Goroth and Zagdush Orc Captains from uh, Forge World for the Middle-Earth Miniatures line. So these are of course from Lord of Rings Return of the King um, and uh, are characters from the movie and uh, not necessarily from the books. So as per usual Forge World standards you have wonderful painted depictions of the models on the front cover and inside you have a bunch of spruce and a couple of bases. So let's have a look at the contents inside and show you what you can expect. So I'll just pick them out here and we'll draw them out one by one. So uninterestingly we've got two bases. Just put them to the side uh, but more importantly first we have Goroth. Now Goroth is a Hulking brute. The size of this model is is quite tall. He is um, he's very very large indeed, and he is a hulking brute. And his rules are very very um, depicting of that as well. So, as I can see, and hopefully as you can see on the camera as well, there is some very very nice orcish armor. Um, he's got different types of armor. So he's got some. Uh, Lamold scales. He has some some wonderful um, layered armor as well. Leather straps on the back. Uh, his hair is is hanging out from inside his helmet, and he's got a nice double chin because he's a big big orc. Uh, nice looking details on the legs as well. Uh, not a huge amount of mold lines I can see at all, which is fantastic. Couple of air vents. Uh, which is to be expected and uh, and yeah the the face detailing looks very very good so tell me what you think about him I do believe um, the actual sprues for the models are on on a couple of different sprues so the the pieces for the models so this one and the middle arm I do believe it is for, for Goroth. So he's got a huge two handed uh, war mace. And again, uh, looks like nothing is broken. Looks like everything is where it should be. And minimal bendiness on, on the rod as well, which is very, very important. And, um, and yeah, it looks like uh, the, the standard has has followed through as well so i'm very very pleased with goroth so next up we have uh zagdush as well he's quite opposite of uh, of goroth he is a bit more a bit more of a uh, a um hit him and uh hit him hard and then slink back so he has a nice ability to counter that uh well to to um, to enforce that in his rules, but the the model itself lightly armored, only some scale armor. Uh, and then he has some leather straps, looking very very nice. Doesn't seem to be a lot of mod lines on here as well. Um, I, I failed to find any, to be honest. Um, very nice undercutting as well. 
um, under there. And as you can see, he's missing both arms and his head. So let's see if we can find that. So we have a sprue, which seems to be Goroth. Uh, I do believe this is for... No, that is for Sagdush as well. So, Sagdush is standing on a small pile of rubble. Here's his head. Which looks very, very nice. Uh, I do like the, the face depicting on this model. Very nice orcish head as well. Looks very good. Then he has a wicked looking blade with pauldrons, which looks pot particularly cool and then the final arm from the other sprue is the other wicked looking blade so all in all a very nice kit for two very very cool supporting heroes I, uh, I do believe these are well worth the purchase in my mind um, but do tell me what you think um, is it worth it for you? Are you planning to run an army based on these two characters? And if you do, um, are you planning to paint them up as uh, as the models um, as depicted by Forgeralt? Or are you planning your own color scheme? So do tell us that in the comments. And um, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And do consider supporting STF on Patreon using the links in the description below. It is a fantastic way for you to keep supporting our ongoing project here at the studio. It gives us the monetary means to improve, expand and give you more cool videos each and every week. So if that's at all interesting, click the link. But more importantly, support your hobby.